Some really fond memories. Our teams were forged during those years and during those weeks at St. Edwards. The city was always amazing. And then uh, I hated that we left. St. Edwards University hosted Dallas Cowboys training camp from 1990 to 1997. So then Cowboys quarterback Troy Aikman knew the city well. With the debut of his new beer, he's returning to Austin while wondering what we're all wondering about his team. What do you think has been missing for the last 26 now years? It really is hard to believe. I mean, it's hard to believe because they've had some teams that have been good enough, and this year's was one of them. And they just, unfortunately, haven't played their best football when they've gotten into January. On the one sense, you'd say, why are the expectations as high as they are for, for a franchise that's won three playoff games in the last 20-whatever years it's been? But yet, this year, as someone who goes around and covers covers all these teams. This team was as talented as any in football. So I think the expectations were realistic and they just didn't just didn't play their best. As a native of Dallas, how special is it for you to see Matthew Stafford in the Super Bowl and, and just kind of what he's gone through in his career just to get to this point? I, I'm really proud of Matt and uh, I've got to know him pretty well. You know, and he, he really wanted to turn Detroit around and I think in some ways he was able to do that, but it, it, he showed us this year that when you have good players around you, that was my career, that you can do some really special things. And there was a lot of expectations on him as soon as the trade was made. And so for him and that team to be now in the Super Bowl, which is where they were expected to be, is is uh, is really cool. It usually doesn't happen that way. Tips are optional. <laughs> Thank you. All right. You bartended before? I, well, I have. I, I've been doing my, more in the last week and a half than I ever have in my life. I did a little bit of that in college, but uh, getting a lot better at it now. I'm a light beer drinker. I've always liked beer. Uh, but I also am very mindful of my health and wellness. And so I thought if we can do a light beer, low calorie, low carb beer, uh, that complemented my lifestyle, then it was something I'd be interested in. And we were able to do that. And so I refer to it as a better for you beer. You know, if you work hard during the week and you're careful about what you eat and you're into health and wellness, uh, it's nice to have a beer that you can go to and not compromise all of the work you put in. And I think eight does that.